Good morning, my friends. This morning, I'm gonna be doing another first impression video, and we'll go ahead and get the, get to it. I'm using my country gentleman, the straight one. And I'm gonna be smoking Carter Hall. First time I've ever smoked this. So let's pop her open. Maybe. There we go. Comes with a cover over it, just like Prince Albert did. 14 ounce container. Actually smells pretty good. It's got a tangy scent to it. You can smell the tobacco, but it has definitely got a tangy scent to it that I can't quite place. But I know the scent. Almost smells like I don't know, almost like a liqueur. I don't know. Kind of a tangy, sweet scent to it. I wonder if that's just the tobacco they used. I don't know. Anyway, there's the cut to it. Kind of a, uh, I don't even know what that cut would be called. It's similar to the rough cut used with Granger, but it's not because so far I don't even see stems. So maybe it's more like Prince Albert than Granger. I think maybe it is. All right, let's load up and fire up, yeah? That loads up easy. Really easy. All right, I'm just gonna put that back over there. No particular reason, by the way. Mostly just because it seems like a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's fire it up. Lower the back window, front window. Here we go. Sure seems to light easy. Hmm. All right, well, we'll get on our way. I'll kind of update you and we'll go over what I think of this. Interesting. All right, so. Sure. Let's get on the road. So, I 
I went down to my boy's graduation. And, uh, huh, it was, it was really something else. There were 631 other people who graduated boot, uh, that Navy boot camp, along with him. And my boy said that there were a lot more when they started in his division. He didn't know about the rest of them. Uh, my son's division got the uh, uh, Eagle Battle Flag, which there's one of those given for each, each group of divisions that graduates. And it goes to the one who performed the best out in an overall aspect so he has just a few days of leave and then he goes to his advanced technical training uh, starts off in one state for a year and then he'll go to another state for a year At least he believes so. And as it turns out, he's going to be working on submarines, which is really neat. And he's really stoked about it, so, you know, if he's happy, I'm definitely happy. Got to spend part of the day with him before I had to take off and come back. Super proud of that boy. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a good trip. Yeah, I did what I went there for. And man, super proud of him. He's worked really hard for that. All right. This is interesting, this Carter Hall. hint of something in there that I can't put my finger on. I really can't put my finger on that. It, it it's a little bit like an alcohol, but I can't, there isn't enough of it there for me to place what it is. It's primarily a tobacco. It isn't bad. Not at all. It isn't bad. This one has the edges, the corners rounded off of the tobacco flavor. Almost completely. It's got just a slight hint of sweetness. It's not bad. But what is that other flavor? I don't know if that's a topping. It 
it is super easy to load this stuff packs into a pipe easy as anything man just super super easy to pack mm. but what is that other flavor You have the tanginess of dirt, you know, of soil. The dry smokiness of hay. Oh, I intended to grab a donut. In all honesty, this is a extraordinarily neutral tobacco. I mean, there's not a lot that stands out about it. Actually, there's nothing that really stands out about it. It's just extraordinarily neutral. There's really no acidity to the smoke. The smoke is not thick in any way. As far as mouthfeel. No one flavor stands out. But there is a hint of that tanginess in the background that I can't quite wrap my head around what it might be. It's not getting more flavorful as I go, at least not yet. Of course, I haven't smoked very much yet. This strikes me as perhaps a base for something else. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could smoke this easy on its own. And in fact, even with a what you might call a somewhat lighter constitution when it comes to nicotine. This could be an all-day smoke, as long as you weren't looking for any particular flavor. But it doesn't have that satisfaction involved with it, you know? Like when I did the first impression of the Granger, I said that it was oddly satisfying, which was true. Because there's no real toppings or anything else on the Granger. But as you smoked it, or as I smoked it, it truly felt like a satisfying smoke. This is in the same realm in terms of lack of toppings you don't really feel any casing to it it's just something to smoke no bells and whistles but it's not satisfying like the Granger was not to me at any rate
but I do believe that you could easily smoke this bowl after bowl all day long. And it wouldn't phase you. I'll bet you could smoke, if you had time to do it, I'll bet you could smoke five bowls of this, six bowls of this in a day, and you would not have a problem. As long as you didn't mind a straight tobacco flavor, you know? But you're not, this is not one that I feel like I would be smoking for the sake of satisfaction, but more kind of for the sake of burning through time, something to do, you know? It's not bad at all. It's not bad. Not even a little bit. Carter Hall. Straight tobacco flavor. But not a... That's what it is. It's not a heavy tobacco flavor. Uh, and I think that's why the Granger, to me, was more satisfying. was because it was a little bit more of a heavy tobacco flavor. Like they used darker tobacco or, you know, something along those lines. I don't even know if that makes sense. Uh... But it's not a heavy tobacco flavor. It's a really light tobacco flavor. Uh, with uh, no toppings at all. It's not bad at all. It is literally, I think, meant for an all-day smoke. as kind of a time burner, you know, something to smoke that's not going to be, you know, break the bank type thing. It's not my favorite, not by any means, but I think this would also make an excellent base for any mixing that you might do. Or if you wanted to experiment with adding your own toppings, I'll bet that would, this would make an excellent base for that too. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. And now that I understand it a little bit better, yeah, I do believe that that's what I'm gonna use it for, especially when I go hunting, which is gonna be next month. Anyway, y'all, I've taken up enough of your time I got to run to the store, get to the shop. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. I'm out.